This video is about closures in Python. In order to understand closures, you should be familiar with nested functions and first class functions. You might want to check out a series of videos I've made on functional programming. So if you didn't watch it, go ahead and watch that first. Otherwise, you won't find a problem understanding closures. So let's start by creating a function. We will call it outer func. And it doesn't take any parameters or input. And let's create a variable and we will assign it to a string and inside the string we'll say hello from outer func function. Okay, next let's create a nested function. We will call it inner func. This inner func function is nested inside the outer func function. And again, it doesn't take any parameters. And what it does, it prints whatever text is declared above. In this case, hello from outer func function. And by the end of the outer func function, we will invoke the inner func. Now let's go ahead and call or invoke the outer func function. And let's check out what will happen. We get a message, hello from outer func function. Okay, so let me walk you through this. When we have invoked the outer func function, this actually has triggered the third line of code, which is a definition of that function. Then declaring a variable called text and assigning it to a string called hello from outer func function, then defining a second function called inner func. And this prints whatever text is declared above. And at the end, we invoke the inner func. So by invoking the inner func, we have printed actually the text which is in the scope of the outer func. And the text variable is also called a free variable because even though it was not declared inside the inner func function, we still had access to it inside the outer func scope. So text was declared in the outer func function body, but the inner func function, which is a nested function inside the outer function, had access to it and can print it. All right, so by invoking the outer func function, you actually have invoked the inner func function. Okay, now let's try to return the inner func function instead of invoking it. So the first step to do that is to delete both parentheses and add the word return here. And this will change everything completely. So if you will try to run the file again, it doesn't look like anything happened here. And actually, if you will assign the outer func to a variable, let's say, I don't know, Batman, and you will hover over Batman, you will find that it's indicating the inner func function. Okay, so to show you what I mean, let's print Batman. And you will find that this is a function and the name is inner func. So if you will print um, batman.name, you will find that it's called inner func. So basically, Batman is equal to inner func. And this is fascinating because even though we are done with the execution of the outer function, the inner function that we have returned still has access to the text variable. So to put it simply, a closure is an inner function that remembers and has access to variables in the local scope in which it was created even if the outer function is invoked already and has finished executing. Okay, so this is a closure. Batman actually in this case is a closure. And let me show you actually if we will add some parameters here to the outer func function. So we will say name for instance as an input. And in this case we don't need that variable, but we will assign text to whatever name will be passed. Okay, and let's actually create, let's say Batman outer func and as a name, we will say Bruce Wayne. And let's add a second variable. Um, let's say Spider-Man. And let's say here Peter Parker as a name. All 
Alright, so we have here Spider-Man and Batman, and both are referring to the inner func function. So let me clear the terminal, and let's invoke both functions, because Batman now is a closure, or is a function that is referring to the inner func, or this nested function. And similarly, we'll do the same thing with Spider-Man, and let's run the file. And indeed, we get Bruce Wayne and Peter Parker returned. Okay, so this was Closure's briefly explained in Python.